sun's just come out. Here we are. We're uh, myself and myself. His self. Himself. Shimself. <laughs> Top shelf. Top shelf. Shimself. Here we go. We're we're out. We're in Yorkshire. I'm out with Von Diddles. Um, the out. sun is blazing. It's absolutely glorious. A glorious second half of the day. And we're going to go in there. It's been pissing down for the last couple of days, so the water is running very fast and it's very brown. But we're going to see if we can't pull out some crayfish. And here he is, look. Wave. There you are. <laughs> right. Let's, uh, we ain't got wetsuits or anything either, so let's just get let's get into the duds and, uh, and go and have a goose. Look at this for a get up, look. I've got belt on. <laughs> I've got my ankle, I've got ankle weights on. It looks like you're going to Comic Con. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to Comic Con dressed as like me, homeless footballer. We're both a bit homeless footballer, aren't we? A little bit. We're yeah. airing that. Except mm. for I'm freshly homeless. Uh, yeah, and... well, you're more injury prone. I'm like... an injury prone. I'm just out on injury. You're... Yeah, long term. You're, 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 you haven't played for years. I, I mean, my best days were. <laughs> barely had them. <laughs> you didn't have any best days and they're behind you. Oh, it looks too bad. I ain't gonna see shit. Oh, it's cold. Ah. Now then, mate, I just wanted to interject here with a little bit of a safety warning for anyone who's thinking about trying this. Please err on the side of caution. I spent far too long in this cold water, mate. And when I got out, I looked like a Smurf, mate. I looked like Papa Smurf that if he'd eaten... Papa Smurf that had eaten too many blue ice pops. And I was shaking like a cacking dog. Uh, and so just, just be careful. Err on the side of caution, as I say, mate. And just have fun, but have safe fun. It's very important to not take this stuff for granted because it is quite dangerous. All right, take care. See you in a bit. Dubler. Ah, you, how come you're not in here? Because it's cold. Too cold. Keep diving, keep diving. Woo! Got to just chill out. It's all in your mind anyway. Yeah, apart from the fact your skin's turning purple, mate. Is it? <laughs> like, like, like down one of the fairground rides, like fairground thing, took a coconut a, a, a dwarf or whatever it is. <sighs> I'm absolutely clear of. Yeah, mate, you're looking blue now. <sighs> Oh. <gasps> 
That was mad. Uh, maybe stayed in a little bit too long. Started body started to shut down a little bit, but on the plus side, got a, a nice little haul of uh, American signal crayfish that we can cook up somewhere, which we'll go find somewhere now to to get bush bot revs. Oh, his sun's just come out at the perfect time. Glorious. Right, let's go find some woodland or find somewhere interesting to get a little fire going. Right, so what I'm using here is just a little bit of fat wood. This is my go-to if it's uh, of late. Well, I've got this fat wood stick, which was one of the ones that was kindly gifted to me from the lovely people at Nordic Outdoors. And get a lot of this up, a lot of finer stuff. Going in with Tubby Tom's death dust. Tubby Tom's. Tubby Tom, mate, yeah. So Joe's just putting some salt in there. Nice bit of salt, and then, do you want to smell? Yeah, it's a bit of salt. Maybe. Oh, it's nice, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Real nice. Right, Tubby Tom's going in. That's a lot. That's a lot of Tubby Tom's. It's got, it's got some mad in it as well. Carolina Reaper. Surf and turf. Let's have a whirl. A whirl. <laughs> Hey, look at us, it looks like we've... Yeah, you copied off me. I haven't copied off you. This is um, this is a Berghaus one that I've had for about four years. But I've just brought it out now with lockdown. We look quite good, mate, don't we? From a distance. Yeah. I look like I've had a haircut, but all I've really done is pull my hair back. Yeah, I'm rocking airband. He's rocking some sort of bungee. Bun uh, bu whatever it is used condom or something to hold his hair back. And we've done these crayfish, mate, but we've done them in uh, Tubby Tom's hot mm -hmm. Carolina Reaper powder. So we're going to get stuck into these and we're going to answer oh, some Patreon questions whilst we do so. We're just out for the day together in our little socially distancing day out. I know this doesn't look like we're socially distancing, but it's a, it's a fisheye lens. We're actually further away from each other than you think. Here we go. Jake's journey. Decent lad. I'll watch it later. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good. That's too hazy. Po right. Okay. Question. Right. Here we go. This is from Welsh Carl. Say hello to Welsh Carl. All right. Welsh Carl, where are you from? <laughs> what's, what's your name and where'd you come from? Hey, look at that for a size of a tail. Look. A lot of meat on that. Mm. Well, that's spicy, isn't it? Yeah, nice. That's a huge claw, mate. That's delicious. I've just finished Fox's podcast, uh, Fox's um, audio book. Yeah, when he says red, 
what he really means is... Well, I've been over this with someone read it People who know me and care about me know that I, can't, I don't have the attention span to read books. You can't say read, then. Oh, I can. Because it goes in, it goes in, when I listen to an audiobook, it goes in more. Maybe you didn't read it. Some people are visual, like... You listen to it. I listen to it, yeah. I tell you what, that spice mix has made them well nice, hasn't it? Very good, yes. That is... It's a game changer. It's a game changer, yeah, because they're not the most flavoursome of things. No, but they're they're decent, though. But they? they've got a nice little pepper pepper. Seems to be a lot nicer than the last time we pulled some out of there. That's because I put a lot of love into them. For anyone who's what anyone who's just listening to the audio version of this, you won't get to see me um, going freezing. <laughs> I nearly went hypothermic, didn't I? Big time. I did try to tell you, but there's no point in trying to tell you when you're in the zone, mate. <laughs> you were, you were in the uh, underwater world. I was when I was in the zone. I can't reach him. I can't reach him when he's down there. I went. No point in trying. We'll get him when he comes back in. Yeah. And it was good. The Gaz Man. Proud to be a new dunk junker in town. Consumed all your content multiple times. So here's a beer on me. Thanks, mate. The least I can do. Do you and Thistle Tits have any... <laughs> I love everyone's little names for you. Thistle Tits. Do you and Thistle Tits have any special camp of epic proportions planned for when lockdown is lifted? Will you be packing the DJ hip flask for the camp? It's been a while since we've seen it in action. All the best. Lots of love. DJ hip flask? Yeah. It's my granddad's hip flask that it was oh, right. made like a little cricket bat that he got when he retired and that. that I've been sm- slurping whiskey out of. Something tragic happened with that, mate. <gasps> Something tragic happened with it. Oh. And it's upsetting, if I'm honest. But it's no longer with us. You melted it down, didn't you? I melted it down into catapult ammo. <laughs> <laughs> and then shot a glass bottle with it and left it in woods. Missed as well. Missed her with it, yeah. Um, yeah, I broke up with my girlfriend and uh, moved out of my house. And uh, it got lost in the move. <gasps> got done in. Must have got taken to charity shop, sir. Oh, somebody. Ah, uh, some Please. lucky punter's going to end up with that in charity shop. Yeah. It's a good little find, that. But it breaks me out to think about it, so I'll move on quickly. Do we have any big camps planned for the end of lockdown? We've got some at planned for the end of the month, my son. <sighs> the end of this month, so maybe two weeks' time. Yeah. We've got a big thing planned. Uh, I won't say what, but it's going to be a good... Two night epic adventure uh, planned for in two weeks, and I know lockdown is probably over in it by then. I hope so, yeah. Plus, we've got permission to, to camp in some woodlands, so uh, we're all good. We're all good. Look at that, there's just a mountain of shells <laughs> next to Joe there, and that's good to see. I tucked in. You did tuck in, mate, that's good to see. Free food. Free food, that free was good protein. as well, that, wasn't free it? Protein. It's very good. The spice mix was the game changer, yeah. I'd probably a the salt helped as well. Yeah. Yeah. But it makes a difference, doesn't it? Mm. Massive difference. Is that like to sit around a pot full of them and just mm. crack out you know, that fire? You can on imagine and all just that. a little bit of butter and you'd be like, that's great. Do you know what I mean? As, a, as, a, as another one addition. Would you? Oh, would you? Yeah. Bit of butter in there. Whoa. I mean, butter makes everything better, doesn't it? Exactly. Let's be honest with it. I feel like I'm, I'm looking around I feel like you've for, been... a, for a horse chestnut. Yeah, I taught you that, you little pervert. I feel like I've been, I've been rummaging around in uh, Ursula's underpants. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that the Little Mermaid? <laughs> no, it's Little Mermaid's gran or whatever it is. All right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't rustle around in Little Mermaid's underpants. <laughs> is she too little? Too little. Ursula is big, right. big unit. I've not. I don't think I've Octopus. ever seen it. I'll be honest with you. He's never so, lived. Yeah. Never lived. What does Joey D teach? Life skills. Nah. I teach uh, art and design. Art and design. Art and design, would you believe? So we're a couple of creatives. It's all about creativity. Him, creative through his work. Me, creative through my lovemaking and philanthropy. (laughs) (laughs) Also in my work, to a lesser extent. I also teach Hayes how to be a just an all-round better person. Yeah. It's so, not... so that's been that's been a long, hard slog. But it's worked, because look at that, look at that. It is. Look at all these. It's getting better. If you're not a b- better person, couldn't you do? 
Couldn't have got them, could he? Look at these poor morsels. We'll have to have them before end of the day. Yeah. This little day trip that we're on. Oh, don't tell me that's the end of the questions. You're just, look at you, half ready to get away. Look at us, we're like, we're in a boy band or something. I know. There's something here for everyone. You know, like in a boy band when there's something for everyone. Well, I can be t more than one as well because I take my hair down. I'm, I'm someone else, you know what I mean? I'm nearly at that stage where I can just hair down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it'll look good when you do dunking junking, won't it? Because oh. you'll be able to intimidate it. Like. Yeah, and I get rid of these tits as well before I do that. Yeah. Um, Is that it? Odd on. That was good. It was all right. Oh, is that enough? Well, I don't know. Have you got more? Um, I just wanted to just like just say a few people's names, but I can't find them. You just want to say some names? Yeah, shout outs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Jeff. Uh, Jeff. Paul. Daniel. Derek. Debbie, Debbie McGee. <laughs> Pat Butcher. Annihilated them. Like a scene of some sort of um, B movie, isn't it? Yeah. Like close up. Yeah, they do look like some sort of alien from somewhere. Um, but they were delicious. Shout out Tubby Tom for the spice mix. That is going to stay in my uh, bushcraft kit until it's gone because it's the perfect thing just to chuck on foraged goods. It got the thumbs up from, from this lad, didn't it? It was really delicious, yeah. Really no, delicious. Spot on. Um, I'll put a link to T Toby Tom's. I'm not sponsored or out, but I'll put a link below because I think he's an independent dude and he doesn't use any crap it's all natural gear that he puts in it and he does it all himself so shout out put his link below uh delicious absolutely delicious we're gonna go we're gonna pack all this up and then we're gonna get ourselves off to find somewhere just to dunk us the junkus wash away all the smoke wash away all this it's a claw, man. Oh, let's get this two decent bits of claw, man. he'll clean up for you you scruffy buggers Putting in some, uh, putting in some miles on bare feet. As part of me bare foot, me bare foot training. Um, I've started wearing bare foot trainers and just walking as walking barefoot as much as I can. Of late, for an up and coming project that I may or may not succeed in. Ooh, let's go for a splash. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, hey. Colder. Yeah. Long John, long John, John. Give us a look at the long John, John. I've got you. Oh. I've got you. <laughs> That's wrong. That's <laughs> Tips to go jump in there. Tell that. Yeah, just let it tip me down. What could possibly go wrong? Get it, lad. The boys are back in town. Just a couple of long haired lads. Look at that, chilly lot rock, look. Look at it, ideal. Yeah, it's sun and that. Beautiful. Crab down. Crab hands. I don't know where rocks are, that's on his knee. A delightful dunk we've just had there. Whew. So good. And it's so good being in such such powerful water. I know it's uh, you have to keep your wits about you. But there's a lot to be said for the like feeling the power of it. It's invigorating, isn't it? You take a bit of the yeah. bit of the power with you. Yeah. We're right hippies man. Okay, got even Joey D's up barefoot challenge look. <laughs> Hippies, mate. What are you gonna do? But still. Have a 
Right, battery's gonna go, one and done. It's been a mint day. We didn't manage to go full on camping, but we've had, this is just as good, isn't it? Is yeah, it? it's been lovely, man. Been lovely, crayfishing, sun's come out for us, wild swimming, bit of cooking in woods. Not done loads of filming, but it's just been, just mint hanging out again and just getting back out, hippie style, barefoot hiking. Right, au revoir, thanks for watching. Say goodbye to them, Joseph, because they do love you. He said bye with his feet. Take care. See ya. See you later, folks. <laughs> <laughs>